Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at structural unemployment. A few definitions. Unemployment that results because the number of jobs available in some labor markets is insufficient to provide a job for everyone who wants one. Unemployment that arises when the quantity of labor supplied exceeds the quantity demanded. In other words, a surplus of labor. Structural unemployment explains longer and more persistent spells of unemployment, and it's more serious than frictional unemployment. If the market wage exceeds the equilibrium wage, some people who want jobs will be unemployed. The quantity supplied of labor will exceed the quantity demanded for labor. So what can cause the the wage to exceed the equilibrium wage or the market clearing wage, so some causes. The following factors lead to wages above the equilibrium wage. Minimum wage laws. These laws can prevent the quantity demanded for labor equaling the quantity supplied, so a price floor. Labor unions and collective bargaining. Unions can lead to workers earning more than the market clearing wage, creating an excess supply of labor for union jobs. In the U.S., however, about 10% of workers are in a union. In Europe, about 80% or more workers in many countries are in a union. So unions are not a major source of U.S. unemployment because most workers can find non-union jobs. Efficiency wages is another reason for structural unemployment. Firms that pay above market clearing wages to increase worker productivity. Wages above equilibrium again cause an excess supply of labor, the quantity demanded, the number of workers that firms want to hire at this wage will be less than the number of workers who want to get a job at this wage, and this will create unemployment. Why would a firm pay workers more than the equilibrium wage? It's in its profit maximizing interest. So a firm may experience increased profit from paying its workers more if the increased productivity offsets the higher labor costs. So higher wages may increase worker productivity because of the following. It may attract higher quality workers to the firm. It increases worker effort and deters shirking, the avoiding of work and responsibility. Workers don't want to lose their relatively high paying jobs for poor work performance, so they put in a tremendous amount of effort. Efficiency wages may reduce worker turnover. Replacing workers is costly to the firm. It takes time. It may disrupt the production process. Bringing in new workers requires training those workers, which can be costly. So the idea here is that workers are less likely to leave if getting paid more than their next best alternative, which is the market clearing wage. And finally, efficiency wages may improve worker health. Higher wages can better support worker nutrition and health care needs. Healthier workers are going to be more productive, have fewer sick days, uh, and so on. All right, that's it.